Jim Rex? What's Jim Rex? Would you believe a movie audience guide presented as a public service by this theater's management to help you select your motion picture entertainment? Well, that's what it is. And we urge you to learn these rating symbols and use them as a guide for you and your family. G means suggested for general audiences, all ages. M, suggested for mature audiences, parental discretion advised. R, restricted, persons under 16 not admitted unless accompanied by parent or adult guardian. X, persons under 18 will not be admitted. This seal in advertising indicates that the film was approved under the motion picture code of self-regulation. What? Guess what the producer and director of Joe have come up with now. Phil. The first time Mommy slaps his hands when he tries to play with his pee-pee. I get so excited. Oh. You know, you can go around the world for $30. It's only 15 in Buffalo. I ain't in Buffalo. That broad is a charter member of the Liberal Party. I just like it. Bye, bye, bye. Are you still a virgin, Robbie? Well, yes, darn it. How is that, sugar? Ah, uh, isn't that rather a personal question? How do people have babies if they're not married? Maybe it goes back to the first no-no. Masturbation? I get so excited. What Joe did for the hard hats, guess what does for love? A canon production. A canon release. more speeding tickets than anybody else in the county. I want to ride in, in that car. They steal a super stalker and tell the world to eat my dust. Darlene is in the fast cars. Hoover is in the Darlene. When they get their hands on 700 horses, they've got to get into trouble. They're off on a screaming, squealing, shattering smash -a -thon. Hot date in a hot car, cruising at 150, rubber burning, and Smokey can't put it out. Let us just blow them away. And if you want to catch them, I suggest you call the Strategic Air Command. What, what can they catch us? Yeah, if I run into a wall or something. Outrageous. Ron Howard pops the clutch and tells the world to eat my dust. He lives from the depths of this unholy tomb. The Avenger rises. Dr. Fibes rises again. The most deadly mastermind of all crime. Specialist in the fine art of bizarre murder. Each more different, each more devilish than the last. <laughs> Then, Inspector, we are faced with an impossible task. Well, there's no force in all the world could win a fight against such a supreme opponent. Run, but you can't escape him. Hide, but he'll find you. Scream, but no one will hear you. Starring Vincent Price, Dr. Fives rises again. Rated PG. Blob is back in a horrifying new adventure. And you are there, startled, stunned, terrified, as the blood-red creature rolls over and eats everything in its path. We're going to burn the place down. I can't take any chances. Beware the Blob. <laughs> Starring Robert Walker, Gwyn Guilford. First thing you do when you get home, you go fishing. You know that's not the first thing I did when I got back home. Beware, Godfrey Cambridge. Beware, Carol Lindley. Please, please. Beware, Shelley Berman. You would like a haircut? Yeah. That'd be four hundred dollars. Beware, the Blob. Larry Hagman and his pals tried to stop the Blob with a pitchfork. 
Beware the blob. Look out! Consuming human flesh on contact. I don't suppose you got any identification. Nothing can stop it. Not fire, not water, not even bullets. What do you mean? Huh? That thing! That's it! Oh! Oh, 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 oh. See, son of Blob! Oh. Ah, it's the Blob! Rated PG. All ages admitted. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Can I have your attention, please? I'm the advertising man for a very funny new movie called The Hollywood Nights. Come on. Now, now wait a minute. We got a problem with the coming attractions. Hey, come on, will you? Give me a break. I'm on your side. The problem is they won't let me show you any of the good stuff. And believe me, it's really good. Like they won't let me show you what this Hollywood night peeping Tom with a Polaroid's taking pictures of. And I definitely can't show you what the cheerleader in the middle forgot to wear, but believe me, it raised more than a few eyebrows. This Hollywood night just did something really humiliating. You are so immature. I am not immature. But can I show you what it was? No way. You'll just have to guess why the heavyweight in the horn rims is having an attack, or why the cop is in the can and not on his beat. Get back, Bimbo! Or what's really being barbecued in the burning bag, or what the Hollywood Knights put in the punch to give it such a special tang. I've had this taste in my mouth before. No, they won't let me show you any of the really good stuff. But I can tell you that the movie shows everything. Look, we're all in our underwear. The Hollywood Nights is hysterically funny. Take it from me. Would I lie to you? It's a masterpiece. It's wild, it's sexy, it's outrageous, it's revolting. <laughs> and so are the Hollywood Nights. But they're not just a movie. They're about as nice a bunch of guys you'd ever want to know. Good, clean American kids fighting for truth, justice, and anything they can get away with. I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Parents groups are trying to stop them. The cops are trying to annihilate them. And only you can help. Force your way into the theaters. Save the Hollywood Knights. They do the same for you. They knocked my pants off. I want you to meet a dear friend. Nine killed you. Nine shall die. Your wife no fives. But you I will kill. But you can't, Doctor. I am already dead. Here, how are we going to get him off this? You take his head and I'll take his feet. Let's unscrew him. Dr. Vibes, who samples the finer things of life in his own inimitable way and experiments with fascinating instruments of death. The what, sir? The guitar. The ten curses visited upon the pharaohs before Exodus. Nine shall die. Nine eternities in doom. Uh, curse of boils, of bats. Frogs? Of frogs, yes. And the curse of blood. Oh. Curse of hail in the bloody middle of nowhere.
Are you ready for Dr. Five? Hmm? Probably the most terrifying motion picture you'll ever see. Get ready for the biggest fun party ever. 1974's most hilarious, wildest movie is here. My... The Groove Tube. But don't just take our word for it. The New York Times said, anyone who ever suffered that Chinese torture known as American television owes it to himself to see The Groove Tube. Playboy called The Groove Tube the most stinging assault on television since it was invented. Diabolic, a bank Robin Hood who battles the cops. He robs from the rich to give to the girls. Ask Eva. Oh, you shouldn't have done it. She can't get a good night's sleep unless she's covered with money. <laughs> Master sports car racer. Master skin diver. Master lover. Master. Ask Eva. <laughs> Diabolic, the absolute gold-plated end. Ask Eva. <laughs> you are condemned to death sport. In the year 3000, all freedoms are crime. There is just one penalty. 
death sport. <laughs> David Carradine and Claudia Jennings are super warriors. I am my only master. Lovers, imprisoned and separated with only one chance for survival. Fight me. I'll see you both in hell. It's a future war on wheels fought astride high-powered death machines with blasters and laser guns. I can survive your death spot. There are no Olympic Games, World Series, or Super Bowls. There is only death sport. David Parody conquers the death sport. Hey kids, the next song is dedicated to Butchie, Chico, Whippy, Stanley, Franny, and Annie, the stars of the new movie, The Lords of Flatbush. Do, 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 do. The Lords of Flatbush is a movie do, 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 do. about how life was in the 50s. A black leather jacket, a rumble or two, and a girl. Flatbush, oh, it's something to see. Do, 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 do. It's full of memories for you and for me. A DA, a spit curl, a flat top or two, and a girl. Do, 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 do. Cutting school, playing pool, stealing a car, record hops. Bobby socks, a padded bra, making out, breaking out, and then one day, getting your girl to go all the way. The Lords of Flatbush is a movie, of course, and let me tell you, man, it's really boss. I don't mean to boss. But you'll dig it the most. The Lords of Flatbush, Flatbush, Flatbush. You know where Jim is? Hey, man, the gym? Yeah, if we come to town What's with the gym and it, just let me out of the gym. What are you doing? Because I gotta start working out. You know what I wish? What? Somebody asked me what I wish. Okay, what do you wish? I wish that we'd all be happy and, and be friends and have good luck. Damn it, I'm trying to score points for you and you're trying to take my chick from me. Yeah, well, uh, she ain't your chick, you know that? This hell ain't your chick. Big lover. <laughs> I knew you'd get yourself in trouble. <laughs> well, you can get yourself in trouble. Why can't I get myself in trouble? Hey, because I can get... I make it a rule never to make no promises. I bet you think that I make out really good. Huh? Well, I don't. I don't. I don't make out good. You know those girls? You think I don't know their dogs? You know, sometimes when drunk, I, I really think that they're princesses. And I wake up and they're just pigs. I just feed you like pigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta keep moving, moving, moving. Honey, gotta keep moving right along. I'm on a one-night stand, gal. Tomorrow, by this time, I will be gone. I'm gone, honey. Your daddy done gone.
don't keep a cat or dog because they eat too much. Little kids bore the pants off me, and when I go to a ball game, I root for the visitors. I never cried at a wedding or a funeral. I never sent a Christmas card, and I cheated my wife, if I had the time. But I've got one soft spot. A man is innocent until proven guilty. The Lawyer. Makers of Animal House, <laughs> National Lampoon's Class Reunion. No class has less class than this class. Coming this fall from ABC Motion Pictures and 20th Century Fox. Anthony Pastrumo, one of the big five mafia bosses in Greater New York, is a strong family man. How we know that? Go, Starka. Anthony Pastrumo, also known as Bacala. Oh, no, Mother can pray for us, so it's not. He became the big boss after his best friend went for a swim with a jukebox tied around his neck. Hey, 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 hey. Kid Sally Palumbo. Anybody looks to rob me, I put them under the water. He's out to take over the mob, but that will take some thinking and... Uh... I got important things to think about. <laughs> well... You said... I think I'm gonna stand... Shut up for your face. Hey, you... Hey, you... No, 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 no! Jimmy Breslin's the gang that couldn't shoot straight. A ridiculous look at disorganized crime. All right, what did you see? See what? What I can see like a this, huh? You think I got an eyeball in my head? What can I tell you? What could I tell you? Uh, what could I tell you? Brooklyn DA Goodman expressed concern over the possibility of another gang war. I am concerned over the possibility of another gang war. <laughs> It's a beautiful day for the raid here on the South Brooklyn docks. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? This morning, the entire Palumbo mob pleaded guilty to conspiracy to murder Brooklyn. serious when you tell me your hobby is looking at naked women. I have an urge which you might call lascivious. Controllable, but it's an urge. I've always had it. Being married makes it seem like I shouldn't have it anymore. But the fact is, I do. You could say it was like a hobby. So what's wrong with being a voyeur? Can it be true that love has many ways? We're screwed up. Mm, we have been, Lisa. I want to be on the cover of Vogue and you want to have sex orgies with Eskimos. What kind of a marriage is that? Let Bill and Lisa guide you through all the devastatingly funny hurdles of the marriage of a young stockbroker. And what does our lovely wife, Lisa, think about all of this? 
right, I'll tell you the real reason why I can't be with you. Because I have no power when I'm with you. That's, it's as simple as that. You want power over me? Over myself. I want the feeling that I can make things happen. Christ, Lisa, who doesn't? But I can't take it anymore. And what about sister-in-law, man? If we went back inside your house and I took off all my clothes, would you look at me? And brother-in-law, Chester. As bad as things may be, they could always be worse. And psychiatrist, Dr. Sadler. How very revealing. I ask the most ordinary question, and your guilt makes you assume that I am referring to your peeping. Lisa, don't fall for this plot. She just asked if you saw anything. You're not here to help me. You hashed it all over with Nan. You made up your mind I'm crazy. You, you want to trap me into pro proving that you're right. What's happening to me? What am I doing here? Am I going crazy? God, I hate you. I love you. If it takes my whole life to somehow prove that to you, then that's how I'm going to spend the rest of my life. Dear, is that starting to tear? Uh, I wasn't. The marriage of a young stockbroker. Electric Western. Far out. Time. Right on. <laughs> Zachariah, Zachariah, you don't need a gun to die. Looking for a job. Did you finish high school? I want to wash in a bathtub of gold. I want 97 kilos already rolled. I want to wash in a bathtub of gold. Of course, we're always looking for someone who can draw. I learned to draw at home in my spare time. <laughs> Dump stupid noise music. You weirdos are all alike. I don't have any quarrel with you, mister. I'm gonna kill you, you little fag. Yeah, babe. <laughs> Elvin Jones. Country Joe and the Fish. We shoot our guns and watch them run. We sit high up in the saddle. <laughs> Doug Kershaw. If we all have the New York Rock Ensemble. Pat Quinn. Billy the Kid. Wild Bill Hickok. Matt Dillon. Marshall McLuhan. I've had them all. Don Johnson. Weird eyes. And John Rubenstein as Zachariah Wright. Following in the footsteps of such great crime fighters as Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson, Charlie Chan, Hercule Poirot, The Lone Ranger and Tonto, we now proudly present Benson and Kerwin. What can I do for you? You two are going to handle this case together. Keep your hands to yourself, he's mad. Oh. I just spent ten years on homicide to be mauled by some old queen. I want you to live as a gay couple. Mr. Macho meets his mismatch. Ryan O'Neill is Benson. 100% all-male, tough 
hero cop. John Hurt is not. Partners. We were your age when we moved in, John and I. Oh, children. I think you could have waited a little while before you threw our first orgy. Listen, we're not going to get anywhere with this faggot. Why don't we just cut our losses right now, sir? Don't be a sexist. Go back, hold his hand, and get the job done. What are you doing? Are we on a case or a shopping expedition? I'm behind with the laundry. And stop ironing my damn underwear. Guys don't iron other guys' clothes. Well, get a load of weepy over here. I must be the only cop in the world that's got a partner that cries. Knock it off, both of you. Why did you choose me for this job? Because you're a good cop, Benson. A real good cop. My name is Benson. I'd like a word. And because of your cute... I beg your pardon? What time you get off? You just picked up the wrong guy. Well, what do we do now? Take off the towel. Take off the towel. No way. I know how you feel. I'm a cop. God knows. He's done everything he can to hide it. Maybe you're under a strain right now. There's a problem. Because he's bringing girls home. Sir, I quit. You guys are cops first. Well, let's go, man! Ah! Ryan O'Neill, John Hurt. Partners. If you think getting into business is easy, just wait till you see Arnold's Wrecking Company. It's all about investments. Which in, in plain dollars and cents breaks down to about $680 gross return on a $100 investment, right? High risk, but no depreciation. We use it if uh, we mix it with some really good dope. What do you mean, really good dope? That's the best stuff in the city. <laughs> so when supplies are lower than demands, business is brisk. And you too can be bullish on... In the rear of the truck, you will also notice there is approximately 236 pounds of processed... gentlemen, as of 5.30 tonight, Arnold's Wrecking Company has sold 10,000 lids. Marijuana, 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 marijuana. Arnold's Wrecking Company, the dopiest comedy of all time. Century Fox would like to introduce you to Pee Wee and his pals. Tommy, Mickey, Tim, and the biggest man on campus. Why do they call you meat? Because it's so big? When they're not in class, they're into everything. But what they'd like to get into most is a place called Porky's. I left my idea. Here, use this one. That's my Bible school card. Unfortunately, we can only show you the outside of Porky's. Because what goes on inside is not to be believed. Boy, the locker room. Oh, it turned me on. We'd like to show you more of the locker room. But this kind of physical education just isn't taught. Yeah. We can't show you more of the shower scene. Because what they're looking at isn't watered down. They want us to look. They want us to look. Porky. You too will be back for a second look. Okay, I'm ready.
now let's all get serious. <laughs> hey, you Now you two have fun. The Last American Virgin, featuring songs by Blondie, The Cars, Devo, Journey, The Police, Mario Speedwagon, Tommy Tutone, and more. The Last American Virgin. See it or be it. Yeah. In a future that grows ever closer, the fate of our Earth will lie in the hands of one man. A solitary warrior of great courage. His name is Doki, and he is called the Finder. His enemies will emerge from the underworld to test his strength. Yurok, the Cyclopean warlord of the One Eyes. The assassin Baal. Half man, half machine. And Jared Sin, leader and mastermind of the Sinister Renegades. They will utilize their cruelest weapons. They will exploit their most mysterious powers. As they create an epic non-stop action adventure movie that will challenge your senses. And they will do all this for you in 3D. This summer. Metal Storm. The destruction of Jared Sin in 3D. You think you ought to get up first? Will you just shut up? Ah, let me in the 30s, these men won the respect of the boxing world. That was really stink. Shake the trainer had all the surprise punches. This is a surprise. Bags was his experienced fighter. Hey, he's on your foot! He had the desire, concentration, and direct aim. It took rigid conditioning. Bags was proud to stand on his own two feet. Could they avoid loose women who followed the fight game? Oh, get away from me, you little slimy, mole-faced degenerate. Before I step on your creepy body and squash you with the rest of the slugs around this thumb. Oh, well, would you like to dance? Can they win for the kid who built a dream around them? You think you can take the butcher? Bluebird Blue. One person stood in their way, the butcher. It's the clown that creased my perfect face. Can Bags take the champ? 
Just gonna leave that ring on a stretcher. Follow these punching pals to the title bout. What murder out there? What is he doing in here? You're in the wrong corner. They all have signs. Tim Conway, Don Knotts, starring in The Prize Fighter, a knockout comedy. So together, let's begin it, and I will be there with you. Quadrophenia. The major musical statement about an angry generation is now a motion picture for every generation. Quadrophenia. For everyone who was ever convinced he was right because the world was wrong. Just because we get around. I'll tell you what's wrong with you. You're schizophrenic, that's what you are. What's that then, eh? What's that? I'll tell you what that is. Bloody split personality. Show you what you can do with your job and all that other rubbish you can stuff them right up your eyes. Can you see the real me? Can you? Can you? Can you see the real me? Can you? Can you? Oh, yeah! What Ruthenia, the Who's triumphant answer to indifference, the movie the music's been waiting for.